Today, we're going to be performing three skits that range from the different ages. First of all, we're going to be performing Socrates. Socrates, the trial is over. Here's your hemlock. Ah, thank you. So, what was the verdict? When do I get out of here? The Socrates, the verdict was death. Death? You gotta be kidding me. For what? We're teaching the youth wisdom. I'll take it all back. Call him anyhow, renounce everything. Let's get out of here. Let's go get some Chinese food. The Socrates, you drank the hemlock. So what? It's poisonous. It is? Since when? Didn't you know hemlock is poisonous? I do now. Look, I only know general things. What is truth? What is justice? I never learned details. I don't know what's poisonous and what's not poisonous. This is the kind of thing that irritates me about you guys. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to die. So what? When does this stuff take effect? Two, three years? Two, three minutes. <laughs> what a lousy day this was. All right, I'm going to lay here, and I'm going to die. And you know what's going to happen? You guys are going to go out, and you'll have lunch, and you'll sit and stare at each other. I was the only one who ever talked in this whole group. It was always Socrates, what is the nature of the good? Socrates, what is wisdom? Socrates, what should I order? Socrates, what are you having? And not once did anyone ever say, Socrates, hemlock is poison. He said, come, Mr. Tallyman, tally me banana. Daylight come, and me want to go home. Submitted for your approval, a one Dante Alighieri, once middle-aged ordinary writer. Dante Alighieri is about to pass between that boundary of shadow and substance of things and ideas. Dante Alighieri is about to pass over into the Twilight Zone. to uh, get a tour. Okay, okay, I got a deal for you. I got a deal for you, just for you. You're my 100th customer today. I got a deal just for you. Okay. I can give you the big three, hell, purgatory, and what's a paradise, paradise. I can give you all of those for just seven million years of your life. Well, you see, I only got a thousand dollars to spend, I mean, years to spend. And I was also kind of referred to you by, um, what's his name? 
Um, God. God referred me to you, and he told me uh, he'd give me a special rate. I thought not God, not the God. Number one. Number one, yeah. Oh. I was talking to you. You know how many times he's done this to me? How many times? Too many. Too many times. I don't like. Like that. I get really tired of him, to, but he's an old friend of mine. He's an old friend of mine. And he told me he could do it too, so you know. Well, he said, I don't know. He talked to Virgil. Uh, Virgil's yeah, the guy that talked to. He always to. says that. Okay, I'm a nice guy. Okay. My wife says, take somebody down to hell this afternoon. I said, okay. So let's go. Come on, let's go to hell. Come on, let's go to hell. Down, we got another bison. Come on. Look out. Come on, all these stairs have changed so fast. Outstanding. Come on, I'm come impressed. On. Down, over here, over, over here. Down over here, we got somebody. Just over here. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I'm sorry it's so hot down here for your feet. I'm sorry, but I told you to bring some shoes. But over here. Oh, yeah. Over, come here. Come here. Here we have... What's your, oh, what's your name again? Oh, that's right. She had her mouth sewn shut with unwaxed dental floss. That's Sharon Landsberger, isn't it? That's Sharon Landsberger. Oh, yeah. God. Guess what she did? What'd she do? She always had something to say, but it wasn't worth listening to. So they sewed her mouth shut with unwaxed dental floss. Amazing. Isn't that, isn't that Amazing weird? what they can do. Oh, next. Oh, you want to see the next one? The next one? Oh, over here, over here. Come here, come here. Come here. I gotta show this to you. I gotta show this just to you. About this. Popular people. Do you know any popular people? Yeah, they're all popular. Have you yeah, ever been I popular before? Like Have you ever been popular? You've never been popular before? Okay. Never. Over here we got, oh, we've got uh, popular people. We've got uh, Lisa Campbell. You know this, her? You recognize her? There she is. There right she there. is. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Lisa. How are you? I wish I could be like don't you. Talk to, don't talk to her. No, don't talk to her. Don't talk to her. It's a punishment. Popular people, nobody gets to talk to them. Over there we got, uh, who we got? Over there we got Michelle White. Hi, Michelle. No, don't no, talk to her. Don't talk to her. So we gotta go to another hell. These people are getting too excited. Let's go. Counselors, just for you. Counselors for you. Um, with the, who was your counselor in high school? Um, I had Thompson. Thompson, oh yeah. yeah. Now come in, come in. This is Mrs. Thompson, right here. Remember her? God, yeah. Yeah, you wanna know what she had to be punished with? What? The first four thousand years she had she had to listen to dumb advice from people like you. Students. Dumb advice from you. Hello, don't take English here. Hello? Take science fiction, don't take science fiction. Dumb advice. The next four thousand oh. years she had to listen oh oh no. She had to miss a promotion. She had to miss promotion because she didn't have enough Credits. Yeah, that's like a, they told her she did, right? Yeah, they told her she's just, she was really disappointed. That's, that's right. The, the guy, the heartbeats, they come I up, like they say, that. you got enough credits. They said, no, okay. She doesn't take English. <laughs> she didn't graduate. Oh, great. Oh, come on. All over here, you're going to love this. Come here. Come here for this. Oh, no, we're Look seniors. at this. Look at this. Oh. This is an underclassman. Oh, no, we're oh, seniors. Ready? I don't know how to punish him. Oh, no, we're seniors. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no, we're seniors. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Once is enough, once is enough. Come on. Look under the tree, under the tree here. Over there, look at her. Doesn't she look horrible? Oh, God. Guess what she, doesn't she, she look like she's worried. waiting? Worried. Well, she's waiting for somebody. Come here, look, look at her, look at her. She looks worried, she looks like she's waiting. She's all dressed up really nice. But she's she in here because for? she was tardy for everything. Tardy for class, tardy to get up in the morning, tardy for everything. She's just kind of a late person. She's a late person, yeah. No, you want to know what a punishment is? Uh, yeah. You sure you want to know? Oh, it's waiting, gruesome. Yeah. It's gruesome. Gruesome. You sure? Yeah. Okay. She's waiting for a late date. It's kind of like she never had a date before. She well, real well, once. She had That's one cool. once with some guy by the name of Paul. It's weird. <laughs> okay, let's go over here. Let me show you over here. Come here. Sorry. No, don't talk to her. Give me Duck and goose. Um, come over here. Now stop. Wait a minute. This is the barrier right here. Now, through this barrier is something we call the waste pits of hell. Wait a minute. The waste pits of hell. But you gotta do something before you go in. Ready, ready? Put your I'm feet ready. together, put your feet together. And you gotta click them three times and say there's no place like hell. Ready? One, two, three. There's no place like hell. Now we gotta jump out. Ah! Oh, no, hey, no. come here, come here, come Virgil, here. Virgil, what do you do? No, you know, you like this guy, you like this guy I once knew. No, come here. Now let me tell you about the waste guy. This, oh, don't look yet, don't look yet. Over here, you think Lucinda was bad? Let me tell you about this guy. This guy is the waste. His name is Michael. 
Did you have another Michael? Yeah. Let me tell you about this I Michael. Knew him once. He watched nothing in Mrs. Buckelman's class. Did nothing. But now his punishment is forever. Watching those stupid Greek movies. Oh God. Forever. Come here, let me introduce you to him. Michael, Michael, hello, Michael. Look at this. This is this this is Dante. Remember these quotes? And now no. Odysseus. Don't torture the man. Don't torture the man. But come here. When no, he... come on. Come on. Come, 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 come on. Come on. Now over here. Over here. Let me show you over here. Now watch your step. Come here. Watch your step. They work forever on the muscles. Now come here. Look at him. Look at the guy. His name was Saeed. You ever heard of a side? Oak arms, you know? Big guy, huh? Big guy. Really? Now look at him now. Look at this flab. Look at this nothing. Come here. Let me show you him. Let me show you him. Hold out your hand, Saeed. <laughs> look at this. Saeed. Look at this. Such a weakling. Saeed, I'm disappointed. Forever without any muscles. Now come over here. Over here. I got to show you this over here. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. Come on. What's wrong with you? Didn't you want to feed your Wheaties? Come here. Over here, we got a special thing just for you. Got to up. Oh, there it is, there it is. Now, come here. Over here, we have something that's special. It's called the River of Sticks. But there's no river. That's what it is. It's just sticks. It's the River of it's Sticks. It's kind of like there was water, but the there was. No, there was never water here. Or... But let me tell you, this is where all the Barbie dolls go. All the Barbie dolls and their accessories. Okay? That's cool. The dictionary says that all unwanted Barbies and accessories will be buried upside down in hell. Yeah, the last wow. hell. Let me tell you about the last hell. Wait, don't look down there. Don't look down there. Don't look down there. Let me tell you. I told you not to look down there. You want to know what that was? Ow. Right, let me tell you what that was. That was the hell of the brown noses. You know who I'm talking about? Tom Tetzloff. Yes. You know who he did it to? Mrs. Mrs. Bockelman. I guess she's the devil then, right? She's the devil. Satan, Satanette. You know her, Satanette? Satanette. Yeah. The devil it. Yes. Now let me tell you, I can't show you the real Tom Tetzloff. I can't even say his name right. It hurts my tongue. But I can show you a picture of him. I think that's nice. You, you ready for this? This is an old book. A very old tome. Just show me the picture. Mellow, mellow. Never again. Now look. <gasps> don't, don't stare at it too long. That's it, that's enough. You can't see it anymore. Okay? okay. Now we go home, you ready? ready? The same way we gotta go through the energy barrier. Ready, put your feet together. One, two, three. There's no place like, like home. Hell. I think it was a good tour? Yeah, it was um, a tour. Well, I got this questionnaire for you up here that's uh, really kind of nice. Do you, you, you know how to write, don't you? You can sign the questionnaire, wow. right? Wow. Oh, I forgot to tell you about this. This changes. Yeah, you graduated now. I graduated. You graduated. You diploma. No, no, you gotta ask graduated God. Graduated from hell. Graduated from hell. I look really impressive when I go to says, college. It says, Dante Alighieri. To all who, never mind what it says. You can read it it's later. Like, you know, but you gotta hell. get it from God. Now, let me tell you about God. You go up to God and you say, right, God... Right from the football team. No, you weren't in the football team. Oh. Right? Lie. No, you don't. No, don't lie to God. All you do is you, you can lie a little bit. You tell him I was great. You tell Damn. him I was such a good guy. I don't want to work in hell no I'll more. Tell hell him is the pits. I want to work in heaven. Heaven. You ever been to heaven? I'll show you heaven next week, okay? Next week. Next week. Same, same hell channel, same hell time. Come back next week. Thank yeah. you. Oh, thanks a lot. Thank you. It was an experience, and I, I'll never experience. forget it. Don't mention it. Welcome to Masterpiece Theater. This evening we will be watching The Evangelist, starring Oral McJority. Now, the interesting thing about this show is that Oral McJority is the great grandson of Jane Eyre McJority. Hmm. Now, the story takes place in the Inquisition, but Oral has taken the story and modernized it so that it takes place in a dry cleaner's. A little bit of humor there on his side. Supposedly cleaning up the heretics. 
Now, this is part three of the story. Come with me and watch part three of The Evangelist at the Dry Cleaner. Excuse me, sir. Uh, when can I have these clothes back? Many people ask me that very question. They come on to me and they lay their burdens before me saying, can you take this burden and cleanse it? And I say, yay, I can cleanse this. I can cleanse pants. I can cleanse most any kind of fabric, even though the devil has cast a pizza upon them. They come to me with shirts that have had buttons torn from them in passion or anger, and they say, can you make it as though new? And I say, yay, but it shall take another day. Well, what can I have these back? Well, let me erase you from this text. The Yellow Pages, page 4,327, where it says, four-day service up. Four-day service up. Say it with me. Four-day service up. Four-day service up. And we shall live according to the promises made in this book. Now, do you believe that I shall have your clothes cleaned in four days? I believe. Do you believe that I shall repair the button upon thy shirt? Oh, yes, I believe. Then take, let me take the symbol of your enslavement and place this stamp upon it. And when ye present this to the guardian of the gate, he shall raise the bar, and ye shall be free to pass unto the city where among you dwell. But I say unto you, once ye have passed the gate, do not turn back, lest ye suffer severe tire damage. Oh, thank you. Thank you, oh great dry cleaner. Thank you. Go out into the mall and spread the good news of my dry cleaning services. Oh, Dale, take these raiments and cast them upon the waters of the lake. Okay.